What's up everybody? It's Mr. Tobin. I wanted to explain to you your task for today. So last week we spent a lot of time learning about the three branches of the federal government. We started with the legislative branch whose main job is to create laws. Then we talked about the executive branch and their main function or purpose being to carry out or execute those laws. And then we finished the week with the judicial branch, the courts, and how their main purpose, their function is to interpret laws which is actually a really important job because, as we'll see today, oftentimes figuring out what a law really means is not as simple as you might think. So this worksheet is going to ask you to consider a hypothetical scenario and a hypothetical law and decide if you were a judge, what would you do in each case? So here it is, the task. In this hypothetical scenario, a law has been written for the township of Upper St. Clair. You will act as the local magistrate or judge who must interpret the law and make a decision in each of the following situations. So here's your background. Recently, several citizens in Upper St. Clair have complained that people are parking their cars on the sidewalks in the township, which, as we all know, is hilarious because there's no sidewalks in Upper St. Clair. Anyway, as you can imagine, a car being parked on the sidewalk causes great difficulty for people passing by. The City Council of Upper St. Clair created a new law and posted signs in many places around town. Since the law was created, several situations have challenged the law. The law simply states, no vehicles on the sidewalk. So, in each of the following cases, the person or persons were found guilty by the lower court and have appealed that decision to you. What will you, as the judge, decide in each case? So you've got five different cases here in which someone is arguing that they were found guilty but should not have been. For each one, you're going to see a description at the top. In this case, Benny and Sarah Butler, who are brother and sister, rode their bikes on the sidewalk on the way to school last week. They were previously found guilty of violating the law, no vehicles on the sidewalk. What do you think about that decision? Do you agree with it or disagree? Circle your choice and then explain why you believe they did or did not violate the law in the space below. You'll do that for each of these, these scenarios and then submit. And I think what you'll find is that sometimes interpreting the law, the purpose of the judicial system, the judicial branch, isn't quite as easy as you might think, even with a law that seems as straightforward as no vehicles on the sidewalk. If you need any help or have any questions, stop by our office hours. Good luck. Have fun judging.